Welcome back. Now we all have big dreams, big and small, and in the spotlight this morning, a Quinnipiac University public safety officer continues to chase his acting dream, and he's actually doing it. Roberto Alfaro of Hamden has appeared in films. You've probably seen him on TV. Orange is the New Black, The Good Wife, Law and Order, All My Children, oh, I love those, and The Blacklist. He's also a former police officer spending 15 years with the Hartford Police Department. Thanks for joining us, Roberto. How are you this How morning? How are you doing? We're talking. Thank you for having me here. Thanks for coming. You've rubbed elbows with many stars. Yes, right. I've, I've had minor roles. I mean, nothing major, but I've had minor roles with uh, a lot of, you know, big stars uh, like Paul Giamatti, the one that's airing tonight, which is Billions. Can we talk about Billions sure, airing sure, tonight? Sure, 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 yeah. I, uh, I play a stone faced uh, ATF agent. So I'm actually sharing the stage with Paul Giamatti. He's, uh, he's doing a press conference, and I'm right there, you know, um, watching over the evidence and um, reacting to some of his um, uh, statements as, uh, that he's giving on a press conference, to a press conference. And uh, that's basically it. I'm, you know, I'm in a few shots with him, and uh, nothing major, but, you know, I'm there. And, but just watching a, a major star like that uh, performing, it's... It's inspiring, you know, it's well, really, really inspiring. It's so awesome to us yes, watching it is. you. Yes, it is. So you're a, a public safety officer at Quinnipiac University. Yes, I am, yes. Which it's a very important role. And do you get a lot of time off to go act? Do you go out to California? No, I, I don't go to California. I just work in New York mostly. Mm -hmm. And um, and I work around my schedule. So whenever I have my days off or, you know, free time, I just go to New York and, you know, audition for parts. And, and that's how I work around it. And what's next for you? Uh, what's next for me? I, I have other, I have so many things going on. Um, I, I, I'm still modeling professionally. I've been modeling for 20, 24 years already. Uh -huh. And uh, this, in, I think it's next week, uh, Trace Secrets, a magazine, online uh, magazine. They did a big story on me, and I might be on the cover, so look for it. Oh. And uh, can you talk a little bit it's about your time? It's a fashion magazine. I'm sorry. Oh, I yeah. can't wait to, to see that. <laughs> if you could talk a little bit about your time in the Hartford Police Department. Well, we I spent, uh, yeah, it, uh, I spent actually almost 21 years in the Hartford Police Department. Uh, and it was a dream come true. I, I started when I was 23 years of age and um, worked in patrol for five and a half years. And then uh, in 1985, they opened up the mounted unit. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I submitted for it and I oh, got accepted. Oh, there you are, right? Right That's in me. there, yeah. Well, and how is it uh, you have the real life skills and you put those to work? Yes, I mean, right there, um, it's, I'm doing a. Uh, in Hollywood. Oh, in Hollywood. I mean, yeah, when you use those real life skills, yes, you put yes, those to yes. Work in uh, Hollywood. What happens is uh, um, a lot of these production companies, when, they, uh, when they're filming and they're doing a scene where it involves law enforcement, mm -hmm. They'd rather go with somebody that has the experience, that knows how to handle a gun, knows how to, how to make an arrest, <laughs> and knows how to handle a scene yeah. uh, to make it real. And, and uh, they put a lot of money into these shows, so they, they'd rather go with a professional, somebody that knows what they're doing. And, and um, that's, I've done, I've, most of my, uh, my jobs in, in the movies and, and uh, on TV has been uh, as a police officer, or FBI agent, or Secret Service, anything that has law enforcement involved. Well, Roberto, you're the real deal. You're well, not just playing the part, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. That is really cool. So how can we see you tonight? Um, at what time? Yeah, what, what time? It's on Showtime tonight, mm -hmm. and it airs, uh, I, I believe, it's at 10 o'clock tonight. Okay, I will TiVo that. Yes, On Showtime yes, at yes. 10 o'clock. Can't yes. wait to see it. Yeah. A big debut. Thank you, thank you. And I'm also a motivational speaker, and I like to talk to the kids and, and talk about their dreams mm. and, and um, what do they have to do because I was born in, and raised in a really, really tough neighborhood of the South Bronx, and I went through a lot of challenges that I experienced along the way. And uh, one of the things that I, I, I got from that is that, that if you work hard and you never give up on your dreams, anything and, and everything is possible. And you proved it. And I, I proved it, I guess. What so, a nice thing to do. Thank you so much. All right, thanks so much for joining us. And for more information on Roberto and other segments, just log on to our website, WTNH.com, pull on the on air tab, and just look for the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.